Good morning. Good morning, my friends. We are at Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee, and this is what I brought today. This is the new uh, Duramax uh, Chevy 2500 Silverado. It's a beast. Uh, and there's uh, quite a few cars going on in the show. I thought I'd uh, take you around, show you a little bit about what's happening. Let's get the best way in, maybe right through here. So it is Saturday morning. I hope you guys are enjoying your uh, your coffee this morning or whatever it is that you enjoy on a daily basis. Uh, but we're going to walk through the show and show you guys some of the cool rides. We're going to start out on this end. And uh, there's there's a couple of a couple of really good ones uh, this morning. I think that you uh, you guys will enjoy. It's a little bit of a kind of an overcast ish foggy morning, although it seems to be burning off. It's going to be nice. What's up, Marna? Thanks for joining me today, Valerie. Good morning. What's going on? Maybe I'll see you at the Murphy later today. I don't know. Uh, but this is Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee this morning, and we're in. Um, Canale Valley. I don't know where the hell we are. I can't remember from day to day. I just got back from SEMA from Las Vegas and it was a hoot. But let's uh, let's walk through, shall we? And kind of show you guys kind of what's going on. Let me flip this around so you guys can see some of the gobbledygook that's happening. Nice GTO here. Beautiful. This is kind of the muscle car section. And that's absolutely not a muscle car, but it's cool. And then there's doggies. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's that fuzzy thing on top? Who's this? Callie. Hi, Callie. All right. <laughs> you guys have seen this one. This is a beautiful cougar. I've shown you guys that before. So we see, you know, a lot of the similar cars but every now and then something really cool shows up and on today I'm going to show you a couple of really cool things Thanks. this one's for Valerie right there uh-huh beauty all right then there's something over here that's uh, a little wacko this is a little wacko a lot of work went into this one. It doesn't really work for me necessarily. It's a little crazy. Yeah, I'd rather take that vet right there. But we're going to start from what I call the ass end of the show. Make our way deeper into the show and we'll say hi to Craig this is pretty sweet look at that that's pretty flawless black SS that's something Dwayne Johnson would like more vets Morning. How you doing? Good, man. There it is. <laughs> Looks good. You made it. Very nice. How you doing? It's got a wheel on the back now. Does it? Nice dog. Nice dog right on. That looks great. 31. Wow. And there's someone sleeping inside. Oh, she's not sleeping. No way. Professional texter, though. <laughs> Looks good, man. Right next to another one. Really good stuff. So we met this dude up in Ventura. The Ventura Nationals, right? Yep. It actually drives. You were right. All right, I'll be back. Morning. Cosworth, check it out. That is really nice. You don't see those that often. Tim Divers, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. Got some good stuff. 
Oh, this was my sister's first car, this Mustang. Wow. Charlie's Angels right there. Yeah, I did some bad things in this car. I didn't tell her. I hope she's not watching. I'm getting trouble. Yeah. So uh, there's one up here. That one right there. I want to show you guys. It's a beauty. Yeah. That's a long car, man. I, I think that car could be in two states at once. Woo! Yeah, that's beautiful. So what are your guys' plans this weekend? Today I'm uh, going to head to the museum right after this. Moving some cars around. We've sold a few cars, so we need to uh, kind of make do some organizing. And then after that, tomorrow we're going to Supercar Sunday, which is back. Very excited about that. Dustin's show. Got a few friends going to that. Most likely Jay's going to be there and uh, a lot of interesting people from the Malibu show. Looking forward to that. I'll bring this big truck that I'm driving right now. That's a beautiful Corvair. Wow, that is really nice. Yeah, that's a beauty. This thing is flawless. Look at that. Okay. Great paint. Look at the paint on this. That is just stunning. Creamy goodness. Look at that reflection. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a meteor. Pulling in. Very nice. That's good stuff. I am. Good to see you. I'll be right back. Good morning. How are you? How's this uh, turquoise beast of yours? Gorgeous, as always. If we had a category for best color, this would win. Yeah, Meridian Turquoise. Wow. 67? 8. 68. Hearst wanted to do a 428 in them. Yeah. And uh, GM said, no, you're not going to compete with Camaro. Yeah. Because they wanted to do that. But they said, well, we'll let you do it with a Cutlass 442. <laughs> you're going to have the Hearst edition in that. But they didn't care about competing with the GTO. Right, right. So that's what happened. Wow. This is what Gorgeous. they would have done. Or supposedly they did seven, but that, there's nothing documented on, the, on that. So yeah. So you don't know. Yeah. And what kind of shape was this when you got it? Like that. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep keep this one for a little while, will you? At least a month. Yeah. <laughs> to keep her for a month. Yeah, right. You've had it for longer than that. I know that for sure. Are you doing Super Sunday tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to miss that. Yeah, that's going to be good. Dustin's the man. I think he's happy about being back. I'm going to try to get this and that Grand Prix there. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. We'll see you then. Take care. You guys seen this? We did an episode of uh, This Is My Ride with that one. See who else is uh, poking in. Good morning. Got some C10s. Uh, I would recommend if if any of you guys are looking for something to invest in, what is extremely crazily hot right now are the C10s. If you can get your hands on one. Not easy. Oh, the saint is here. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of different C10s that you can get, the Chevys. 
I'm assume most of you Ford guys are not going to want that kind of stuff, but. Uh, Those things are going to jack up big time. That's the only, the only thing I would really get at this point. Oh, there's the doggy. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Yes. <laughs> look at that face. Yes, look at that schnoz. I got one of those. <laughs> so this is really interesting. I'm not going to show you guys this one because I'm actually doing an episode of this today. That's all I'm going to show you, though. Pretty freaking cool is what it is. This is the final row here. There's going to be more cars pulling in as we go, but... Uh, What's up? There we are. How are you, sweetie? How are you? It's still running, man. Yeah. Good job. Good job. They said it wouldn't last, and, and here it is. It's still here. Still going. How long have you had this thing? Four years. Four years. And then you got the yellow one. Where's your yellow one? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. This young man, who is only uh, 92, 93, sorry. <laughs> He's 93. How old are you? Uh, I'm only 73. Old enough to know better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you guys have been coming to this show for how long? We used to be over there when I first started over by um, Josh Keith and Sears. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about this car. Well, this was a car some guy built back in the late 60s. Mm -hmm. And the running gear is out of a crash 67 Mustang. So it's all Mustang stuff, and it sat in his garage for about 20 some years because he blew the trans. Mm -hmm. And I got it, and got it going. We rebuilt the trans, and I replaced a lot of the chrome. I had the chrome redone, and and um, did some stuff with the motor. And now it's um, the way it was back in the. Uh, it, it works. It worked good. And you're only 73. You got a long way to go. That's right. I'm yeah. Gonna make it through 93. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think this guy's going to make it to maybe 123. He is. Yeah. He's been yeah. Going forever. Dude, you don't look a, a day over, um, I would guess, 70. You look amazing. You know what? We what, used to work together. What's, what's the secret? We are kind. If I knew, I'd sell it. <laughs> I think it's car shows. Could be. Yeah, I think if we if we actually went overseas and grabbed the Taliban and brought them to a car show, they'd probably have a good time. And they did a hot rod. That'd keep you young. Yeah, they would keep you young. Right. When, Something like this. We work together. You look exactly the same stuff we have back here. <laughs> You were 93, 93 years ago. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good time. This is this young, man, young man's car right here. Uh, this to, used to belong to uh, Timmy McDougal. Timmy, if you're watching right now, take that, buddy. Whoops. Some more flames. Here's a munched Merc. Squish that, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All the dogs lock, like my mic because it's fuzzy. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> it's like, what kind of animals on top of the camera? <laughs> you guys know that car. Belongs to this dude right here. Have you done done anything else to it? Tweaking. Yeah. Yeah. The what? The visor. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Tony gave that to me. It's good to have friends. Hi, Hello. Hello. How are you? Who's this? Nice to meet you. Cool. Which which car is your favorite? The Ute. Ah, that one. that's this one right here. Yeah. We're gonna take we're gonna take a look at that. That's a Ute. Yeah, from Australia. Aus, Aus, from Australia. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Mouthful of donut. That's your dad. Yeah. Yep. 
I know him. I know him. Let's go take a look. You want to show it to me? She's good at it. Okay. Come here and tell me about this thing. This is a 1950 Chevrolet utility or known as the U. Mm -hmm. So it's Australian built, um, nose fender engine chassis built in North America and shipped over to Victoria, Australia where they built Firewall Mac. Wow. You don't drive on the wrong side, you drive on the right side. That's correct. That's correct. Go ahead and open it up. Let me take a look at the inside. Use the bag and the mask. That's right. Wow, this is great. Now, you ha must not have had this for a long time because you show up with a different car every time. I've had it for about three to four years. Oh, really? I've okay. For quite some time. Okay. It was about a year to find one. Yeah. And I found it in Ohio by chance and wow. brought it back to California. Wow. That's, Beautiful. It actually, one unique of the week years and years ago. Well, maybe there's a second chance. Yeah, let somebody else have a, <laughs> let somebody else have a chance at let's, it. Let's see how the rear looks. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. That's the great. old saying goes they when they built them in the 30s that a farmer wanted a car to take his missus to church on a Sunday and take the hogs to market on a Monday <laughs> and then before the yeet was made. <laughs> right. And even under here, it's a little bit hard to do. Forward, forward to the trap door and this door drops out and the spare tire would slide out. Oh, the bottom. wow. Very cool. Very cool. What what year is it? 1950. 50, okay. So in 53, they came out as Holden. So this right. is one of the last of the Chevys before they went to Holden. Yeah. Very cool, man. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Good stuff. Wow. I don't even know if you That's take a one beauty. gallon of ethanol is cheaper than you take one gallon of crude oil. The and ute. There we go. Is this yours? No. I got to find the guy. This is cool. Good luck That's yours? Yes, sir. All right. I got to come back and talk to you. We're shooting a live right now, but I'll come back and okay. we'll do an episode of our show with it. All right. All right. What's your name? Molson? Okay. All right. I'll be back. That's right. Yeah, good old Aussie cars, right, Joseph? You don't see that kind of stuff that often. It's nice that this show really gets some unique stuff. There's Craig's 442. You guys have seen that with the beautiful white interior. Standard coffee operation going on. Original Lambo. Countach, baby. A sea of supercars. It's nice to see some of the originals. No, just, that's what it is. But I mean, what, what, was it? Was it 1600? There's some love going on here. Did somebody mess with the motor? <laughs> it's a 2210. I'm going to wrap you guys up on this thing right here. So we're going to walk right around show you what that is it's a beast beautiful Aston great design silver matte finish yeah that's nice But this, my friends, right there. Look at that compared to the Ferrari. Ginormous. I can't climb up there, but you guys can. So you guys get to see what it looks like, but I don't. Wow. I can kind of see. Absolute beast. 
Very cool. So that's what we got going on for uh, Canal Valley Cars and Coffee this Saturday morning. It's kind of brisk. It's kind of chilly. I think I have coffee in my truck. I'm pretty sure I do. So I was talking to Craig about the possibility of doing a coloring book for this show. I think it'd be kind of cool. We'll see how that goes. But uh, as I mentioned, we got Supercar Sunday happening tomorrow. Uh, next week is kind of a big deal. Uh, Kathy is going to be building a, uh, a kind of refurbing a new costume for the Ellen Show, which uh, if you guys watched our Instagram, you'll see that uh, she's going to be working on that for the next week. I'll be able to show you guys some lives of that build. It's not a car, but it's still kind of cool. She's been building costumes for the Ellen Show for the Christmas mascot, uh, uh, Christmas um, 12 Days of Giving for the last 20 years. And now this is Ellen's last, last hurrah, last season. And we just met with her yesterday to figure out exactly what uh, she was going to be building. So that's going to be fun. We're going to do that this week. Uh, we're going to continue on the Mike Zarnock coloring book, the book for Hot Wheels. Uh, that book comes out uh, December 1st. And, uh, and then uh, our Diecast Heroes coloring book is out. So check all those things out at FireballTim.com. You can get all of our books on Amazon. All right. We're going to head off to the museum too bright let me back up a little bit there it is much better i hope you guys are having a spectacular day it's up to you get out there uh do what you can to uh to give in the best way that you can and uh and join us for our talk on uh, at 8 a.m every weekday morning on facebook live right here until then canal valley cars and coffee it's what's for dinner bye guys Thank you.